So this is what the observatory looks like with the dome open. You can see here I got the bottom shutter which just goes up and down like this. And the top one just pushes out the back. And I can actually rotate this. See, it's fairly easy to rotate this with your own hand. And all I do is I point it to wherever I'm going to look at. This is my uh, main scope that I use for observing. This is what I use to show off the night sky to people. Um, it is an 8 inch Smith Cassegrain, which is a special type of telescope that allows it to be very compact but has still a good diameter of lens, which is what's important if you're going to look at the night sky. Um, basically, the bigger the lens, the more light it collects, which makes it a brighter image, and that's what you really want. Magnification isn't really a big deal because actually stuff is actually fairly big up there. So if you see a telescope and they advertise magnification, stay away from it because they don't know what they're talking about. Um, I'll just take a look and I'll show you what the what it looks like. I'll rotate this telescope around. You can see the in here is a glass corrector plate. On the back would be a, a mirror, and the black spot in the middle there is actually there's a mirror underneath that. So there's light comes in, bounces off of both mirrors and uh, eventually ends up in the eyepiece which would go in the back here. And I have several eyepieces and that's how you actually change the magnification. You can use the different eyepieces and I'll just show you one. So I have a big one like this and all you do is drop it in here. Drop it in here and adjust your focus and go. And if you want to magnify it, you would just pick a different one. Or if you want to reduce the magnification, you pick yet another one. And that's really all there is to it. Okay, this is my uh, work area here. And uh, here's where I keep everything I need to do an observing session. It also serves as a warm-up room, which is kind of nice because if I'm in there, you can't have heating in there because it destroys the images. But in here, I can have some heating. So in the winter, this is a good place to, to hang out when it's cold out there. But uh, one thing I have in here is uh, charts, and here's an example of one of the charts that I have. Um, in this case here, I've put little sticky tabs of things I want to take a look at. Um, there's all kinds of different objects on here. You can see some stars, some bright stars, and, and I'm not sure what the camera will pick up, but there's also little stuff here, different things, star clusters, galaxies, uh, gas clouds that are called nebula and uh, other objects of interest. So what I'll do is on a night I'll go out and before it gets dark and plan the session I'll put little sticky tabs um, at the things I want to take a look at and then these things will go in with me in the other room and I refer to them when I go hunting. Here's uh, some of the objects I'll take a look at. There's a list here called the messy objects which has been it's a list of 110 things in the night sky that you can look at from North America or Europe in the Northern Hemisphere. And they were discovered by this guy here, Mr. Charles Messier, and that's why they're called Messier objects. Sometimes they'll refer to them as M objects. For example, we have M57, which is this thing here that looks like a donut, which is actually the thing I had pointed out in the other chart. Um, there's all kinds of different types of objects here. There's what we call clusters or globular clusters. There's some really nice open clusters. This is a gas cloud. Uh, it's actually the expanding shell of a dead star. There's the galaxies. There's all kinds of different galaxies. And uh, other types of gas clouds that uh, where stars are being born. So all this you can see in a small modest telescope. And some of them even in binoculars.